Do you seal your pieces when you're done? What's what? Do you seal your pieces when yes, you're done? Yes, I spray them. Yeah. Just with, an, with an acrylic varnish or? Well, it could be. Sometimes just fixative is enough. So. Mm -hmm. I've seen them use hairspray before, too. Oh. Hairspray's great. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. It's great for charcoal, so, anyway. It is. Yeah. And <laughs> the musical component. We have some jazz musicians here tonight. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've been influenced by abstract expressionism, and lo and behold, they love to listen to jazz <laughs> while they were doing their work. I do too. So I thought it was appropriate for the kind of work that it is. So. Did you do any abstract expressionism before you came to Fargo? No. <laughs> no. Yeah. Do you find it easy or hard? It's hard. It's very hard. As a matter of fact, I'm glad you brought that up. There's a great quote by Wozniak Kandinsky. He says, making abstract work 
is the most difficult thing. And those of you who are jazz people, people who sing scat, which is but 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 you have to do a lot to be able to do that. <laughs> and it's the same thing. It's the same thing. <laughs> and you used to do realistic. You did realistic work. Uh, I did. Well, yeah, I painted a lot of faces. I used to do extremely realistic work. Where I've had shows of uh, very, very tight drawings, very realistic, where in California. They? I don't know where are they now. They're over at my place. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> They're from the past. They had to live in the past. This is now. Oh, yes. <laughs> are you planning to do an uh, exhibit using the uh, more realistic or the basic? No, it's been done. No, I've mm -hmm. already done it. But I'll show it to people if they want to see it. So. They're pretty cool. Who wants to see it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Unless you have a big checkbook. Hey, on your I don't know. Poster, on your first row up yeah. here, That's on the lower left hand side, you have the city of Greens. Right. Given the culture that you live in right now, right. have you had any requests to block it out? No. no. And if you, if you had that request, well, of, of course not. Of course not. not. <laughs> LA is 70% Hispanic. No, of course not. Of course not. He's one of the great singers. <laughs> How much planning goes into your pieces? Well, some of them happen very quickly, and some of them take forever. So it's it's really hard to predict. Do you meticulously pick which pictures you use underneath oh, the paint? Of course, of course. I have files of pictures, so you choose the things that work together, and that's really an intuitive process. I'm always ready. I, I collect stuff. <laughs> so I'm ready with all kinds of materials. So. Like all of us. <laughs> yeah. Do you have favorites or are you like any artist where? Well, Holly likes this one. Mm -hmm, the yellow one. She yeah. likes that one. That is my favorite. So I actually like the one right, uh, right there, right behind you. The third one. Because I think it's kind of an interesting mix of graffiti and paint and collage. Where you can't tell the difference. You can't tell the difference. They're what's what. Yeah. Integrated. Yeah. They're integrated. Perfectly. See, and I like the one David, next yeah. to it that's got the brown piece that looks like a hole. So I'm looking into it. Looks like a hole. Okay. Oh, it's I a hole. When people see things I don't. So. <laughs> that one's already got a dot on. Yeah, Marjorie. Marjorie purchased oh my your God. piece. She picked that one. <laughs> yeah. I did not know that. Okay. Yep, she was pretty stealthy. She, she just came and oh, swept she, me up and... So she's very stealthy. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I have one more question. Uh -oh. Why are they all the same size almost? Because you unify your show. You try to keep the same size for the unity of the show. You know that. Consistency. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I certainly appreciate it. Yeah. It made hanging really easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. And she hung everything. By yourself. Nice job. Very well, thank you guys. And yet, I really love that you've got these two big pieces with the oh, yeah. two pieces that have been Those are together. Actually, Beautiful. I stole an idea. Thank hey, you. I admit this. Oh. The LA painter, Ed Moses, he did a whole series of diptychs, which is two paintings together. Oh, and I had a whole pile of these uh, sort of mediocre paintings, but I thought <laughs> I'll put them together. <laughs> My framer is here, and she put a fabulous frame on it, and she made Mediocre painting looks like a bit of time. Yeah. You just had a glasses. Yeah, the light was dramatic. Yeah. So. You did beautiful work. Thank you. Thank you for sharing it. Good time, guys. Good time. Okay. Come on. And there's also a great show in the back room. What? Bismarck. She's from Bismarck. Oh, yes. Uh, Erica Thune is in our Lotus studio right now. Wonderful show. Yeah. yeah, they're they're giant, giant, oh, colorful so pieces. And there's a, there's a dance studio in the back where the guys are going to play. Yeah. It is. If you're inspired to dance, well, this might be heretical. <laughs> <laughs> she knew what she wanted. Do what you want. Here.